Okay, well this little thing here is still running. It's going on five days uh, under load. And it's a little crystalline cell that uh, I encased in cardboard there. And you saw it in my humidity experiment. And after a day or so, I just took it out of the chamber and I've just been watching it taking the temperature and humidity and voltage readings. And it looked like it was just going to go down and die, but then it came back. And it's going up and down and up and down and I think it has to do with a number of things and today I discovered some more good news basically is I made this little cell a couple of days ago and it's made with the uh, alum, uh, Epsom salts, Rochelle salts and some iron pyrite filings and it's all melted down on the stove, no liquid water uh, with a strip of magnesium and a piece of copper wire and it started out great, you know, like a volt, volt and a half. I thought, oh, this is fantastic. And then it died. <laughs> it died today. But it didn't die all the way. It just went down to there. See, that's about 76 millivolts right there. And I thought, well, let's see if I can use this cell to test out this uh, piezoelectric effect and maybe the humidity effect and the hot and cold. And this has worked great for those tests. And if I tap this with my finger, this is hard as a rock. You can watch a, an effect here on the meter. And this is a piezoelectric effect with the uh, Rochelle salt crystals. So watch this. I'll tap this. Watch the meter. And that's that piezoelectric effect. And uh, I'm, all I'm doing is just tapping this with my finger. And this will go up and then it will slowly go back down again. The other thing that I, I discovered was with heat. Using a hair dryer, blowing on it with hot and cold air, I can really make this thing uh, change quite a bit. And let me show you this with the hot air first. And watch the meter here as I blow hot air on this thing. Now I'm going to turn it and go the other way. I'm going to blow cold air on it and watch it go the other way. Now the biggest effect is humidity though. Humidity is what really makes this thing go crazy, and I think this could be one of the reasons this thing is going so well, is we've had real high humidity here, and I did see a decrease in the cell voltage when it was in that chamber uh, with the uh, desiccant uh, packets to take the moisture out of the air. So I'm thinking humidity is one of the biggest things that's going on here. Let me breathe on this, and I'll show you the voltage here. I'm going to change the setting here because it goes up quite a, quite a ways. There it goes. Anyway, that's like I say, the humidity um, is what... Uh, is the biggest thing that makes a difference on this is, is adding humidity to the cell. So anyway, we're trying to find out what's causing these little crystalline cells to fluctuate so much because everybody who's made one of these has noticed that the uh, output fluctuates. It doesn't stay constant. And I know for a fact right now from my experiments that pressure or, or on a piezo effect and then uh, heat and then humidity will cause these things to fluctuate. So anyway, that was my little experiment here. And uh, we're trying to figure out why these, uh, these crystalline cells are doing what they're doing. Thanks for watching.